uh, as you can see on on this uh, first first page, there are um, a vast there is a vast diversity of uh, of uh, of options to choose from, and due to this vast diversity of options, it's not it's not possible to speak of a broker who is the, the perfect uh, for all kinds of traders. Instead, you should carefully consider your own expectations from trading and compare that with what is offered by the broker and choose the one that is best fitted to your to your needs. Okay. And this is the focus that we will try to to bring into this uh, into this session. It can be a daunting task to to sort out between all the available brokers um, all the available brokers seeking uh, those that are best suited to, to your needs. However, at FX Street, um, we have worked to simplify this, this task by displaying what we consider um, the most reliable brokers uh, in the market. Okay. So in this webinar, uh, we would like to, to, to explain the importance of the, of the various criteria uh, according to which uh, you can screen the brokers we have listed and make your, and make your choice. Um, the, the, the table you are seeing here, um, if I if I provide you with uh, with a link to the table, you will see that by each time you you enter that page, the the order um, the brokers appear on the on the list is aleatory, so not to favor anyone on on the list. So if you are seeing here a specific order, it's, it's uh, it's uh, absolutely aleatory, and well, I will try to, to switch or to scroll the, the the page, not to to favor anyone in, in terms of uh, of exposure. Okay. Um, another aspect important to mention here is the fact that um, um, we uh, we work to simplify the, the task by displaying uh, what we consider most uh, reliable brokers in the market. But the brokers that are, who are uh, listed here. Um, respond also to, um, to a, a, a contractual agreement between the, the company, the broker company, and an FX3. So to be on on this on this page, brokers agree to to, to pay a, a fee, and, uh, and uh, therefore uh, there may be other brokers which we would be um, considering as reliable, but we. Um, which uh, are, are not appearing on on our side because there are, there is no no contractual uh, agreement between the, the company. Okay, but nevertheless the choice is big as you as you can see here from from the page. Okay, um, it's also worth mentioning that by by uh, switching to another uh, language, so to say another zone uh, you will be seeing also different uh, different uh, composition of uh, of this table also um, depending where you uh, access this page from uh, some of you might have clicked on the on the link perhaps you you see a different a dif different selection of, uh, of brokers accordingly to the identification of uh, of your IP and the country you are in as certain certain brokers um, um, uh, do not allow for um, clients from a certain jurisdiction, so they um, this is filtered out through your um, your IP your IP address. So no matter what um, what broker uh, you you are evaluating, uh, this is the idea we want to to, to stress during this webinar. Um, there are uh, basic factors to consider. One is to identify your forex trading priorities. Uh, this is perhaps the, the, the key point where we will uh, make more um, um, uh, insistence in, in this webinar. And then you conduct uh, a throughout research of, of brokers. This is perhaps the most tedious part where where we aim to facilitate things through the, 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 the filtering, the, the screening of uh, uh, of this uh, of this broker's list, but nevertheless, it's the, it's the tedious part for the for the investor or for for the trader. And then finally, you you select the the broker the broker that is is strong 
in the areas that appeal the most to you in, in the first uh, in, in, in the first screen in the identification of your of your training uh, priorities okay um, there are uh, before we we move on and uh, what we'll do is is basically uh, going uh, through all these um, columns you see here and uh, explain a little bit uh, what information you can find in, in each one. But uh, before we move on, uh, let me just mention a, a very common mistake uh, in, during this, this process. And this is the, the, the procrastinating uh, the decision or selecting a broker too quickly. Um, we typically feel so attracted by the potential return some people uh, have made trading currencies that we easily skip the, the broker selection Selection stage to get on with with uh, with real trading, and um, without knowing um, anything about your trading skills, I can almost guarantee that your initial de deposit, whether uh, it is fifty dollar or fifty grand, it will be lost in the near in the near future. And that's not because you skip the broker selection process itself, but because the selection process requires you to define your trading style and its specific requirements. Okay, um, so that that is a good part of the selection process, which is a tedious is a tedious task, but uh, it has this this uh, good aspect into it, is uh, because it makes you more awareness to what you need. It's, it will be the same as if you would buy a new car or a new washing machine or whatever. Um, uh, there are different types of products, each um, designed and constructed for a specific environment. And, and the same is with, uh, with uh, the broker's choice. There are a few elements that um, probably remain important uh, independently of your, um, of your trading requirements, such as regulation and security of funds and so on. But there are many more which are uh, really responding to specific requirements. Okay, because uh, after all, or in the end, uh, offering uh, uh, offering or creating markets in a in, in the currency world, it's something very standardized. I mean, euro dollar is euro dollar everywhere. So you have to differentiate yourself through uh, the the costs and the um, more. Uh, more specific things like uh, functionalities of the trading platform or added uh, services and so on. And this is where um, we, as traders, have to look for for the differences between between the different uh, the different brokers. Okay. Obviously, uh, needless to say that any broker that is appearing on this page that has agreed uh, uh, come into agreement with FX Trade that passed uh, our uh, our own criteria, and uh, obviously regulation is part of this of this criteria. So um, there are some common aspects that we we already uh, try to 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 solve or to, to to filter. And so you you may go into more specific details um, if you start your your screening process, your selection process. Um, through a table like like ours, so we do not list everyone, but we do uh, we do make a, a first uh, a first filtering according to to our to our criteria. Okay, so do yourself do yourself a favor, take it easy, and be methodical to do things correctly. The forex market is not going away tomorrow, so you have time to. To do this, uh, to, all, to go through this uh, this this process. Yeah. So, um, a new trader, um, uh, put in uh, different words, a new trader would would not be ready for trading if he doesn't know, for instance, how many pairs he will trade, or if his uh, position management um, uh, technique may be affected or not by first in first out rules, or um, if because of his trade frequency and style, these results are sensitive to spreads or not, etc. etc. So um, this, the selection process 
will we'll make you aware of uh, all these uh, requirements.